Ephesians 6, 1 through 4, in so much that they are honorable. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. So, a Jewish rabbi, okay, who believes in Jesus, they exist. Well, they're not certainly not Orthodox, but anyway, said that a Jewish understanding of that scripture is honor your mother and your father in so much that they are honorable. There are children who have been abused, violated, brutalized by their parents, and they go on in life knowing that they've been mexually abused by them, or the mother allowed the boyfriend, etc. And they still honor these people. These people aren't honorable. These people are not honorable. You do not have to honor them. You do not have to be connected to these people. That's why I have no respect for my biological mother and father. I don't consider them much more than an egg donor and a sperm donor because of the things they did and that they allowed to happen to us. People don't put your biological parents above God. The thing you should do is you should be turning them in because if they abused you that way, they will be seeking other children to abuse as well. You do not need to honor these people. They're not God. They try to make it seem as though no matter what they did to you, you have to honor them, and it's just not true. I just did a video on wives submitting to their husbands. If he's abusing you or cheating on you, you don't have to submit to him. You probably should get a divorce, especially if he's cheating or abusing you. Okay? Like, subscribe, share, or comment. Any combination thereof. God bless.